This video aims to help you set up or formulate linear programming problems. First thing to do is to read through the question to make sure you understand what's going on. There's a builder needing to buy screws, nails and plugs. At the store that the builder is going to buy these from, they can only be bought in either a DIY pack or a trade pack. And all it does in these two lines is tells you how many nail screws and plugs there are in each pack. This line goes on to tell you that the DIY pack costs 250 and a trade pack costs 15 quid. Here you're told how many nails, how many screws and how many plugs the builder needs. Here, very importantly, it tells you that the builder is going to buy X amount of DIY packs and Y amount of trade packs and aims to keep the total cost to a minimum. This is important as these are the decision variables, the X and the Y, and every inequality or equation you come up with will involve a certain amount of X and a certain amount of Y. And then the first part of the question is asking you to formulate the builder's situation as a linear programming problem. And this is all we're going to deal with in this particular video. OK, so where to start? Well, if we skip through and look, first of all, for where our inequalities are, where our constraints are, well, you can see here as you read through that the first constraint here is this 5,000 nails. So we see here that the builder needs at least 5,000 nails. So over here we will write the right hand side of the inequality. At least, well that means that the amount that the builder buys must be greater than or equal to 5,000. OK, we're not going to write the, the left hand side out yet, but it's worth writing X plus and then Y. Well, how can we write that? Well, we know that the amount of nails bought will be a certain amount of X and a certain amount of Y, because those are our decision variables. And this will always be the case. We can do the same for the screws. We need at least 6,000 screws. So here, greater than or equal to 6,000. And again, that's going to be a certain amount of X plus a certain amount of Y. And we can do exactly the same with the plugs. We need at least 4,000 plugs. So again, a certain amount of X plus a certain amount of y. So now to fill in how many x, how many y. Well x is a number of DIY packs. So if we look at what's in a DIY pack we've got 200 nails, 200 screws and 100 plugs. So the total number of nails bought in DIY packs will be 200 times the number of DIY packs. So say we bought five DIY packs that would mean we'd have a thousand nails in those five packs. So the first thing we do here is put our 200 because that is what you will multiply by X, the number of DIY packs, to determine how many nails in the DIY packs. You can do exactly the same then with the screws and the plugs. The DIY pack is a number of X. We need 6,000 screws. We get 200 screws in each DIY pack. So the number of screws here will be 200 times X. And finally, the number of plugs. We just get 100 plugs in a DIY pack. So we can put 100 there. So that's the total number of nails in the DIY packs, 200 times X. Total number of screws in the DIY packs, 200 times X. And the total number of plugs in the DIY packs, 100 times X. Now, the trade packs. Well, Y is the number of trade packs. So we do exactly the same thing with the nails, screws and plugs. 
but here we have a thousand nails in each one so we put 1000 Y we have 1500 screws and we have 2500 plugs and so the total number of nails is 200 times the number of DIY packs giving you the total in the DIY packs and 1000 times the number of trade packs giving you the total in the trade packs add them together and that total needs to be greater than 5000 so in other words you need x and y to be big enough for that to work you've also done the same for the screws and the plugs what else do we need it says here formulate the builder's situation as a linear programming problem well we need non-negativity constraints x can't be negative y can't be negative and the other thing that we need to fully formulate the situation is keeping our cost to a minimum well a diy pack costs two pound fifty so the total we spend on diy packs will be two pound fifty times x so in other words again if we bought five diy packs five times two pound fifty that'd be twelve pound fifty the total we spend on trade packs is 15 pounds times the number of trade packs which is y so again 15 pounds times y and that equals our total cost and that is what we are trying to minimise. So that's our function there that we are trying to minimise. And that's it. We've finished formulating the linear programming problem.